Hello, this is Mr. Bentley, and this video is for students in the Antelope Valley High School District, students attending any of those schools, say like students who attend Pete Knight, that uh, need additional support in logging into their Google Classroom. Well, this video is for you. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about your Google credentials and also um, logging specifically into Google Classroom. So your Google credentials. This is the Google email that is provided to you by the high school district. It generally is your student ID number at students.avhsd.org and then there's a password associated with that. If you do not know your student ID number or you do not remember your password, please reach out to your teacher and your teacher can provide you that information. But uh, once you know your Google credentials, you are ready to log in to Google Classroom. Now, if you are using a Chromebook that it was provided to you by the high school district, then you will need to enter in your Google credentials to even log in to the Chromebook. And once you're logged in, you're good to go. Um, if you are using a personal device, a personal computer, then um, you may need to use your, you will need to log in to Google using your credentials. Um, and how you do that is you open up a Google browser, a Chrome browser, that, uh, and you'll see right up here on my computer, you'll see that there is a little R with a circle. That means that I am logged in using Google credentials already, that um, if you see a blue button here that says sign in, or if you see a circle up here that does not look like it's associated with your your Google account for the school district, then uh, it's pretty straightforward to log in. You're going to click on that blue button or whatever circle is up there, and you're going to come down to, if if you're signing in, it will take you directly to a prompt for you to enter your email. If you're adding another account, making sure it's your, that you're, if you're not logged in to your school and you're logged in to somebody else, it'll bring you up to this page right here and this is where you would enter in your school um, email so that would be your student ID at students with an s on the end dot avhsd.org again if you don't recall your your email or if you don't know your password then uh, please reach out to your teacher so you would hit next and then it would prompt you for your password and then you would be logged in well let me go back so we're right here and uh, so once you have your Google credentials logged in it's actually pretty straightforward to get into classroom I'm going to come up here to this little button right here that uh, it's called the Google Apps button, I guess. I call it the Google Waffle because it looks like a waffle. So um, you click on that and it pops up and there's a bunch of different applications that are available to you that I, I have Classroom right here. You might need to scroll down to find the Classroom icon. But uh, once you find the Classroom icon, you're going to select that and it will bring up the different classes that you are currently enrolled in. So this particular student already has a bunch of different classes that I learned out for privacy reasons. That the one you're going to be most interested in is, um, in this case, it's going to be the summer school um, classroom. For students that are in my class, that class is called 2020 KHS Functional and it's got some uh, longer name, but this is what it would look like. That uh, if you are not sure which class you're supposed to be logging into, reach out to your teacher. Your teacher will let you know what the name of the class is. And uh, but once you once you do that, you go ahead and you click on it. You click on it, and it will bring you to this is the the page for the Google Classroom that um, for my students it's the Functional Academics Extended School Year uh, Classroom. And then once you're here, you can navigate through different um, different ways of, of seeing what your, your assignments are. There is the stream, which kind of gives you an idea. It gives you a list of things that have been posted. The most important part, I think, is going to be this classwork tab right here. If you click on that, it will give you a list of all the assignments that have been uh, assigned to you right now. It, Summer School hasn't started yet, so my students don't have any work assigned to them. But as the, the semester goes on, or as the school, the summer school um, semester goes on, it will populate with different things, and you will click on those and follow the instructions there to complete your assignments. So uh, this is Google Classroom. 
And uh, if you have any additional questions, please reach out to your teachers and they can provide you that information.